Rep. Stube fires back at Trump critics over July 4th address, they will criticize anything he does. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. Rep. Greg Stube defended President Trump's 4th of July speech Sunday amid withering criticism from liberals who called his remarks divisive instead of unifying. Well, liberal Democrats are going to criticize the president and everything that he does, the Florida Republican told Fox Report Weekend anchor John Scott. I mean, just look at the last several years with the Democratic House, and every single thing Tad has tried to accomplish, they have tried to thwart it, he went on. So it doesn't surprise me it'll tout Democratic Senator Zary criticizing just about everything he did. Senator Blackburn calls Trump July 4th speech one of the best that he has given Trump on Saturday vowed to safeguard our values from enemies within leftists, looters, agitators, he said in a 4th of July speech packed with all the grievances and combativeness of his political rallies. We are now in the process of defeating the radical left, the anarchists, the agitators, the looters and the people who, in many instances, have absolutely no clue what they are doing, he said. We will never allow an angry mob to tear down our statues, erase our history, indoctrinate our children. Trump, in fiery Mount Rushmore address, decries rise of far-left fascism, calls on Americans to rise U.P. Stube praised the president's speech and slammed Democrats who took issue with his failure to mention the nearly 130,000 people who are known to have died from COVID-19 in the U.S. They will criticize anything he does, and I just think it is disrespectful to the office of president and the type of things has trying to do put America first, Stube said. Later addressing Florida's coronavirus surge after reporting over 11,400 new cases Saturday, the House Judiciary Committee member said that the staggeringly high number likely was due in large part to the increase in testing capacity in the state. We're testing over 200,000 people a week. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.